to a brand new Brick and Driver Exotics episode, and after a ton of working, I have finally found two worthy competitors. They are both semi-muscle cars. They, they both handle decent, have straight line speed. We have the Strangler Chimura GTX, and the TAC Eagle X. So let's start with our first category as usual, the looks of the car. We'll only be doing five categories today because it is exotics. They aren't meant for practicality or parking. Because they're sports cars. But anyway, personally I'm going to have to give the Chimara the looks here because I like those four things. are models off of the Dodge Challenger, a car which I really like. Gives that authentic muscle car feel. And I'm not saying the TAC is bad because that would be a false statement. It's not. So the Strangler gets five. No, not five. The TAC gets five. The Strangler gets ten. So now moving on to the interior. The interior of the Strangler, it looks like we're about to go fast. It has the headrests, so pretty good. You have the navigation screen, the little bit of red ambient lighting there. You have the gear shift which moves, if you go into drive, or reverse, or whatever, whatever you plan to do. Which is really good interior. Check out the Eagle X. Which has a gear shift that doesn't move. But, anyway, it has a navigation screen which has stuff written on it. Gauge display. And the steering wheel. It also has headrests. So, because of the detailed navigation screen, it's kind of a battle between the detailed navigation screen and all the other stuff you get in here because they can you can tell they put detail and effort into both of these ne neither one of these cars are bad like at all they're both great I'm torn between to be honest but I think because of the extra detail that they put into the navigation screen on the TAC I'm gonna have it have to give it the edge on the interior challenge. Now we move into straight line speed. Drive this over there. Oh, I like that. Look at those things where they move across. That's kind of a neat little feature you don't see very often. Like it all in brick rates. Just drives like a muscle car. Brakes! Not really working. And just go ahead and go here. Okay, let's activate manual transmission. Because it'll make everything quite a bit easier for everyone. In first, let's start out in second. Three, two, one, go. Never mind. Three, two, one, go. This thing is a rocket ship off the line. Holy crap. 127 miles an hour. Gee, I wonder which car is going to lose the braking challenge. seems a little bit slower off the line. To be honest, but... Could surprise me. It's not slow, but... It's... Twenty-seven miles per hour is going to be a tough target to beat. 
104. Okay. Yay, brakes. So the Strangler wins. Neither one was slow by any means. They both had 100 miles per hour, which is something we rarely ever see in these challenges. But anyway. Strangler takes that. Let's go put it on auto so I can drive a little bit easier. And we'll head over here and run the braking challenge. And as we saw braking from our speed challenge, this is going to be entertaining. Handling challenge is also going to be entertaining. Both these cars like to drift uncontrollably. So for the exotics, we do 50 miles per hour for the brakes. I don't think will be an issue. Yeah, I braked late. So I'm gonna go back and do this again. I went too fast. Right, so sideways, and not stopping very well. Over here. Go like this. <laughs> Those stink! So the TAC takes braking. Just barely. I'm not saying it's that's good because that's like the only car I've ever had which ended the challenge sideways. But anyway, a win's a win, right? So now I move into handling. I'm not expecting good things here either, to be honest. I do either of these cars. So let's pull up the timer and see what we can crash into multiple times. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Drifting. Brakes, not good. Steering, numb. Muscle cars. Bricks still not working, right? Surprised I haven't crashed or whatever yet. Here, tightest corner. Not doing nearly as bad as I thought it was going to. And 57.8. And after a nice crash, we will now go get the TAC. So 57.8. Well, 57.82 is the time to beat. So yeah, let's see. Three, two, one, go. We saw that this has less straight line speed, but its brakes are better. Even if you can really say the word better around these brakes. Not pointing in the wrong direction. So that wasn't good. And brake. Very squirrely under braking. Spinning its wheels out of control. Lost a piece of the car, spinning out. So you cannot accelerate coming out of corners, you cannot brake without doing that. It's already losing. So we're going to be slower than 80s 
hatchbacks. Still spinning out. Stop doing that. So across the line in one minute fourteen point five, which is terrible in just about every way. So spinning out, squirrely under braking, there's my comments. Five. And then the Strangler will get ten, even though neither one of these cars really deserves anything in handling category. So the Strangler, 10, 15, 25, 30, 40 points out of 50 possible. TAC, 5, 15, 20, 30, 35. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me spin out repeatedly and crash into things and break horrible and go 100 miles per hour in unstable cars. You know. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.